But unfortunately, so far, discussions around climate change issues have not incorporated loss and damage and how perhaps the financial aspect of it needs to be catered to with regards to countries such as Pakistan. Is this something you think can change now in the aftermath of the extent of these devastating floods? Because as we see the kind of predictions that are being made with regards to climate change issues, it only seems uh, that it's going to get worse and going to expand to other countries as well. And so we're all in this together. But is this something the world has reached uh, a consensus about? Because it seems perhaps there are still countries that are not prioritizing it enough. Well, Sana, thank you for asking me this question. Hmm. Uh, actually, last month uh, uh, I joined the Planning Commission of Pakistan as a member. Right. So I'm privy to some uh, details, you know, as we receive them from the international community, from our partners, you know, uh, managing this crisis together, and the extent, the scale, and magnitude of the disaster itself. Mm -hmm. So basically, a lot is happening right now. As you know, we are uh, still in the last phase of the rescue and relief operations. Uh, we have reconducted the you know, various parts of the disaster zone. And uh, soon we will be entering the most crucial and the most expensive phase of rehabilitation and reconstruction. And reconstruction this time, uh, because of the climate issue, will be climate sensitive, climate adaptable. Okay. And I think the world community so far has really responded with rare generosity. And the UN itself, as you pointed out, that within a month or so was forced to revise the, the amount uh, by well over $600 million. Uh, what I can tell you right now is that so far the damage to economy and infrastructure is more than 30 billion. Mm. But obviously there is a post damage need assessment going on in which the government of Pakistan is you know, partnering with its international development partners, especially the World Bank. And soon, I think probably uh, by the third week of uh, this month, uh, we will get this uh, detailed report and on the basis of this report, and uh, uh, the UN Secretary General uh, was kind enough actually to uh, give a issue a clarion call, you know, by stating that this is not an issue of Pakistan, you know, begging some money from the world because of a disaster that has taken place. Hmm. It is a an issue of climate justice. Absolutely. Hmm. And as you pointed out, that you know, the irony here is that Pakistan contributes, uh, I think, less than 1% mm. of global you know, carbon emissions. G20 nations contribute 80%. Mm. So ultimately, the issue is very simple. Right. The polluters mm. have to pay. And Pakistan stand, given the goodwill that we have received this time mm. from the international community, including from the United States, especially from the Chinese. And so we are not making it an issue of reparations. Mm. We are not even uh, stressing, you know, the debt relief and uh, issues like that. What we are saying is that this is an issue of uh, partnership. It's a collective issue. And I think the ones who have uh, polluted the global climate mm. should uh, compensate the poorer nations of the world who mm. are at the receiving end. And we have seen in Pakistan you know that the still uh, Pakistan is still neck deep in water. It is. Three months you know after the rains began. Mm. So the problem was not you know hill torrents or flash floods and then devastating you know the parts. These are rains you know which fell for three four days. Mm. Which Long is distance. almost close to 200 percent more than perhaps the entire history of Pakistan. Mm. Exactly. So, so issue is very serious. I think the global community is also willing. The mm -hmm. French president was kind enough to offer Paris as a place where the International Donors Conference on Pakistan will probably take place next month. Mm -hmm. So once this uh, post damage need assessment report is there, we will see exactly how much damage has taken place to infrastructure and economy. And I suspect that it will be surely more than 30 billion dollars. Right. Yeah. And we go to the go to Paris basically with the expectations 
that this essential obligation which the richer nations have to meet will be met according to Pakistani expectations.